Now it's time to get back to a rock and roll conversation Nicole DaCosta had earlier with the show, uh, in the show with the band member of the 70s, Doobie Brothers. Take it away, Nicole. Yes, we are still listening to the music. Earlier in the show, I started my conversation with the Doobie Brothers founding member and guitarist Pat Simmons. The band is coming to town this weekend and performing at Moda Center's Theater of the Clouds. Earlier, we talked about the band celebrating 50 years and touring in the 70s and now being in their 70s. It's so awesome. So much to celebrate. Check it out. And you know, after so many years, you know, what's a song that you still look forward to performing on stage each night? Is there one that just never gets old for you? You're always excited to try something new with it, maybe? You know, I've been asked this question before. Uh, it, it, it's really not one song so much as uh, a lot of songs. Um, you know, we have some new music. I suppose that might be something that you look forward to playing because it's, you know, things that the audience hasn't heard and right. that you haven't played a lot, so they're kind of new and a little bit more fun to, to approach. But you know, there's so many great songs that, we, that we've played through the years. I think you know, having Mike McDonald on this tour, uh, you mentioned we had uh, his first time in 25 years. It, it's really the first time that Mike's been out touring with us in about 25 years. Um, we played shows with him here and there, but, but uh, as far as uh, a tour for uh, you know large audiences it, it has it's something we haven't done we actually have been playing you know with uh, myself and tom johnston and john mcphee the rest some of the rest of the guys about various incarnations different people have kind of come and gone through the years tommy and i are still uh, together after over 50 years oh so fun and with so many amazing songs that we all have grown up with um i always wanted to ask someone when you're out and about you're in the grocery store, you're, and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're just somewhere, and one of your own songs comes on. You know, have you ever experienced that? And, and what does that feel like? I mean, it must be kind of a, a moment where you kind of smile to yourself. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a good feeling. I, I, every, every, anytime you hear your songs uh, that on the radio or, you know, on the on online, you know, Wi-Fi, whatever, um, while you're shopping. Uh, it, it's a good feeling, you know, you feel like, you know, it made some kind of a, a connection there for with folks and, and that's, you know, proud of the band, proud to be uh, doing it after all this time. And I mean, even if we weren't still doing it, I'd be proud to, of the music we did. And it's always great to, to hear something. You know. Oh, well said. And anything you want to say, you know, to the Portland, Oregon fans, we are getting so excited for this show coming up. and. And just to know that you guys are out there on tour, it's very inspiring. So anything you want to say to us Portlanders? Just a great town, great town to, to eat in, <laughs> great restaurants. And uh, uh, just, you know, it's a, it, there's a certain vibe about the Northwest that, uh, you know, after living in, you know, really I grew up in California, but uh, the Northwest has its own uh, lifestyle and uh, vibe going on. and. and uh, I just, you know, I love it. I, I love the weather um, up, up in the north, up, you know, Portland area. I just love just a little, you know, it gets a little hot sometimes down in uh, California. It's a little nicer up there. Up the, uh, near, not that far from the coast uh, area. And, and I love the gorge, you know, the, the Columbia. And, uh, you know, my long-term goal is maybe to have a cabin or something up there somewhere up, uh, outside Portland to be able to do some fishing and, and hanging out there because I, I do love the area. Oh, well, let's make that happen. Have a great tour, then come back and relax. You know, we'll make sure you get some great meals and we'll get you a new fishing rod. That sounds fun. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> so great. Well, say hi to Tom, Michael, and John for us. We really appreciate your time today. And thanks so much for being with us on the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Oh, rock and roll, five decades of fun and bringing music that has touched so many generations. Get your tickets now for the Doobie Brothers on Saturday night, September 24th. Visit thedoobiebrothers.com for all the information. 
So many hits. So much fun. I love that, Nicole. How, I mean, how do you snag these interviews, y'all? Nicole, I think, I feel like she knows more famous people than I can even list all. I am an internet sleuth, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> they find me. <laughs> so many more to come, y'all. That's why you tune in, right? <laughs> thanks, Nicole. Yes, thanks, guys. <laughs> now,